Morning guys, I'm pretty sure it is the exact same time it was yesterday. <laughs> I have been up, of course, editing videos. I was like, I'm not showing you like literally the same thing. I do literally the same thing every day. So I've been up editing videos and now it is almost time for me to work out. So before I work out, you know, I gotta shake it. And today I have, don't be orange soda, bam! Oh my gosh, it's orange soda. I have to go get another one. I have to get another one. Boy, that right there is the law of attraction if I've ever seen it, right? All I was thinking was, I hope it's not on soda. I hope it's not on soda. But once again, the universe doesn't know whether you do or don't want what you're thinking about. It only knows what you're thinking about. And I was thinking about orange soda and it delivered me orange soda. That's crazy. But I had to give that thing right back. You know what I'm saying? And then I got, bam, pink lemonade. I looked at this like just to make sure it wasn't orange soda. So thank you, pink lemonade. Mm. All right, guys, we got to get ready to move. Let's do it in three, two, one. <laughs> They're having a great day. Mm. Oh, pink lemonade. Oh, pink lemonade. This is all down. Tap, 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 tap. Time for a little recovery. Ooh, it's getting super hot. Very nice. Can we bring it back? Break it all away. Madeline. Milton butt. That's stretchy. Hi, mommy stretchy McGetchies. Hi, Yanni. My Maddy girl. Hi, <laughs> Maddy. You keep coming toward me. Back up. Come on, Milton. Good boy, Ploppy. Good boy, Ploppy. Good morning, Shelly. How are you? Rosemary says morning. Snow and ice here in Connecticut. Ah, good morning, Keisha. <sighs> Today has been today's been a good morning. I woke up at five. I worked on my video. Like I said, I got a lot of good footage yesterday. Uh, it's you know I'm getting better at getting back in the mood getting back in the like the habit I would say of taking my camera with me like like in Best Buy on day one I just hopped in and hopped out and I was just like oh my god I, I literally forgot to take my camera just because I've been so used to not you know videotaping myself for so long but I had the camera with me a lot yesterday uh, and it was pretty fun and like the questions that you guys asked on the the previous vlogmas that really you know meant a lot and it helped me uh, you know have some stuff to talk about toward the end of my video because like I said I do the same thing all day or er, day y'all look at this taco bowl like this is one of my best creations ever I got meat I got lettuce I got cheese I got Baja sauce I got sour cream I got hot sauce I got quest chips I got pork rinds I got guacamole like I'm not even saying nothing I'm about to eat this and be amazing okay guys I just wanted to give a shout out to the sponsor of today's video like before I forget because I was supposed to mention it for like the past four days and I just didn't but I want to thank my friends over at preferred keto so much for sponsoring this video this is this is <laughs> my favorite by far keto collagen. The vanilla is good, but we all know that chocolate is my favorite. I love to add it when I have Bulletproof coffee, but even more, now you know we're in the holiday season. If you remember from Vlogmas last year, I made pretty much like hot chocolate every night with like almond milk, heavy whipping cream, and cocoa powder. Well, like, now I'm just gonna substitute collagen in there and I am very excited. I won't be able to make it tonight because I am going to the theater. I don't think I told you guys this. I talked about it on my live today, but tonight I'm going to the theater to see a band's visit, the band's visit. I still don't know which one it is, but it's a musical. I got season tickets and I'm going with my best friend and I'm very excited about that. But like maybe tomorrow I will try to make some hot chocolate with this collagen powder. It's delicious in cold drinks, hot drinks, and I'm a fan. You can get 10% off with my code WAC10. I'll also put a link in the description box below, but this is definitely my favorite. But if you're a vanilla person, you're gonna like this too. 
Okay guys, I am back from the show, the band's visit. I didn't even bother taking you with me like on the way, A, because it's dark in the car, B, because I knew that I couldn't take my camera anywhere near the theater. You guys, so you know I carry around a backpack and one time in my backpack, I had this, just a mini tripod. I didn't even have a camera, I just had this and they made me take it back to my car because it is camera or it's photography paraphernalia. Like you can't, and I was like, uh, y'all know our phones are really high quality cameras, right? But I mean, I guess they can't regulate phones, but they regulate just about everything else. So I was like, I'm not even taking my camera cause I know I'm gonna have to leave in the car and I'm not trying to do that. But like, I am back from the show and it was called The Band's Visit, and I don't feel anything towards it whatsoever. Like, that show was pointless. It was literally about a band's visit to a small town. It took place over the course of 24 hours, and I just didn't resonate with any of the characters. There was literally no conflict. Like, how did this win Tonys, you guys? What did I miss? I feel like the actors thought they were doing something so meaningful and it just it was not meaningful it was like blah blah like i'm numb right now i don't feel anything like you guys i hate the lion king with a passion i hate aladdin the broadway shows i hate those shows like i actively dislike them i cannot say that i actively dislike the band's visit like I, Cause I don't feel anything towards it. Like, which is worse, you know? <laughs> oh my God. Like the band's visit was like the November 2019 keto crate. Like it looked good from the outside. It ended up being a real dud, but I'm still glad that I experienced it. Like how? Like I'm glad that I can at least say like, Oh, Autumn, have you seen the band's visit? Oh yeah. Like I saw it never seen it again, but at least I saw it once, you know? Like, I really treasure experiences even if I end up not liking those experiences that much. But like, whew, comment down below, have you seen the band's visit? What did you think? Like, what did I miss? What did I not get? That's all I wanna know. Okay, so I am looking up some questions from yesterday. When was the last time that you watched your review of Bohemian Rhapsody by Pentatonix? um the day that i shot it and posted it to youtube like i rarely go back and watch old videos of myself you guys if you didn't know i have a whole other channel it's just called watch autumn i used to make reaction videos where i videotaped myself watching something and reacting to it mostly pentatonix and todrick hall videos i will post the link to the channel right there that's also where i go live every morning at 9 30 a.m eastern but I haven't watched those videos in so long, but I can only imagine how long my hair was, my glasses, how chubby my face was. Like, I had some looks back in the day. Question, snacks, favorite, savory and sweet. <laughs> Edited to add keto snacks. Thank you, Autumn Heather. Uh, Cause you know, I would have, I just would have went off the deep end. Um, my favorite savory snacks, I don't really snack on savory things. Like that's, that's not what I consider a snack, but I mean, I guess like pork rinds, I really, really have come to enjoy the hot and spicy pork rinds from Meyer. Um, would you count nuts as savory? Like I like roasted salted nuts. Like that's like a salty snack. Favorite sweet snacks? Definitely keto bars. The perfect keto keto bars. Don't get me wrong. The brand keto bars is also delicious. The chocolate peanut butter, but the perfect keto chocolate chunk cookie dough, salted caramel, like those bars are my favorite. What's your favorite Christmas movie? Funny enough, I don't have a favorite Christmas movie. I don't like really consider Christmas movie a genre of movies. I mean, even though like I know that it is, but like what's your favorite comedy? What's your favorite drama? Like I get that. I can answer those questions, but like Christmas movie, I just, I, I don't really, they don't resonate enough with me to have a favorite. Um, Home Alone is a classic, but I probably haven't seen it in 20 years. My sister's favorite Christmas movie is The Santa Claus. Now that's a good movie. I just, I don't even like Christmas movies enough to have a favorite. 
Why do the kids go to Granny's every day? Uh, Milton and Madeline go over my grandmother's house every day for a couple of reasons. Number one, because my grandmother has a fenced in backyard and I do not have a fenced in backyard because I have like an acre of land. So it's really important to me that they're able to run freely. So I like for them to run around in her backyard. Number two, because I work from home and they are not good dogs. They are not quiet dogs. And also Milton doesn't like to be inside a lot. Now Madeline will stay inside all day, but Milton likes to be outside and I can't let him outside. I don't trust a tie out. Like I don't, I don't feel comfortable leaving him in my backyard, even if he's chained to something. So I like for him to be able to be outside at my grandmother's house. And then also I like it as companionship for her. She is retired. She is at home a lot by herself. And as much as she says that my dogs get on her nerves, the second they're not there, like if I have to take them to the vet or if I have to take them to the groomers, she's calling me up like, where are the boys? She calls them the boys. Even though Madeline is clearly a girl, she'll be like, where are the boys? And I'll be like, they're at the groomer. Don't worry. And she'll be like, okay, I'll see them when they get here. Like, she loves them dogs. We all know it. She ain't fooling nobody. So, Whew. that being said, I'm off to sleep. Hopefully I can forget that the band's visit exists. It was just so bad. It wasn't bad. It just wasn't anything. Like I'm, I'm even more frustrated that I don't understand it. Like clearly I didn't get it. And that's the most frustrating thing. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to sleep. Drop me some more questions in the comments below and I'll do a Q&A tomorrow. I really, really appreciate you guys. I'm going to sleep. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.